Hello. Red warnings are pretty rare, to say the least. So to issue two within 24 hours at opposite ends of the UK just shows how exceptional the weather is right now across the UK. Now, the red warning for today comes into force at three o'clock this afternoon. It's for parts of southwest England and parts of South Wales. But there are numerous other warnings in force as well. We still have amber warnings in force across parts of the northeast of the United Kingdom. Uh, further frequent heavy snow showers coming in across much of Scotland and northern England, adding to what has already fallen. Running through the rest of today, the easterly winds continue to blow snow showers in across other parts of the UK as well. So we do have yellow warnings covering most areas. And then later today, an amber warning starts to come into force across the southwest as the wind start to pick up here as well. That is going to be an added hazard. A bit of sunshine here and there, but basically most places will see some snow flurries through the day today, further accumulations, further treacherous conditions on the roads. And even if you haven't got the snow and a bit of sunshine, it is bitterly, bitterly cold. First of March, first day of spring, meteorologically speaking, and it really feels like the depths of winter. Speaking of which, let's focus in now on the warnings, because through this afternoon and overnight tonight, we're particularly concerned about parts of the southwest of England, from Devon into parts of uh, Somerset and up towards parts of South Wales as well. Cardiff included in the red warning, along with Exeter. Across this area, 10 to 20 centimetres of snow is likely, maybe as much as 40 centimetres, possibly even 50 centimetres on the hills. It's going to be almost impossible to measure it because of the strength of the wind. Gusty winds blowing that snow around, that means blizzards. Dangerous travelling conditions. Please listen to your local authorities and the emergency services. It's going to be pretty horrible through tonight and tomorrow morning across this zone. There are amber warnings in force across the largest swathe of southern England and South Wales too. Power cuts, villages getting cut off, those kind of things expected to happen certainly in the red area and possibly in the amber area as well. So as I said, take heed of the warnings, stay up to date with the very latest weather forecasts. So that's the southwest. Elsewhere overnight tonight, there will be more snow showers piling in across the north and the east. Elsewhere, well, it may become a little bit drier, but the snow may extend further into parts of southeast England too, covering here, again, a few more centimetres possible. Still that easterly wind. It is, again, going to be a very, very cold night with temperatures widely below freezing and in many places well below freezing. Again, add on that wind, it feels even colder. Into Friday, some uncertainty about how this band of snow snow will move, but it, there's the threat of further snow covering parts of southern England, South Wales, certainly further snow showers piling in across the northeast, elsewhere, something a little bit drier, but still it is going to be cold. A hint of some rain coming into the south here, so that's an extra hazard both tonight and tomorrow. We could see freezing rain across the south, so it could get very, very icy indeed. There's an awful lot still going on, and of course, although temperatures may climb close to freezing across the south, maybe above in the far southwest, it is still another bitterly cold day for most. And we continue with only slowly turning things a little bit milder across the south into the weekend, and it is only really very slowly. We're likely to see further issues through Friday and the weekend. Please stay up to date with all of those weather warnings. The Met Office website has more. Download the app and you can track the snowfall yourself. And keep across us on social media. All the warnings are being updated uh, through Twitter and, of course, through Facebook. We're on Instagram as well.